by far technology. Like that's, that is beyond any kind of uh, like no doubt. Like it's, it's technology being able to have uh, the ability to throw out uh, for quoting for expedited freight. The technology is everything being able to be on expedited platforms where you can find capacity, you know, incredibly fast. That's very important. And moving forward, same thing, being able to fire out a load uh, confirmation really fast. That's really important. Uh, Being able to track that load uh, in terms of uh, not just for the customer's sake, but for my sake too, knowing that the carrier has arrived at pickup. That's incredibly important for me. It's incredibly important to know that, hey, we're delayed an hour in terms of getting loaded. The tension will apply, getting that communication back from the carrier. So automated replies tell you, hey, you need to at least tell your, that I need to tell my customer that freight hasn't been loaded yet. So they know, they know that pot, potentially there will be uh, a situation where we're going to run into a freight audit situation where we need to know that this was uh, in time was five, out time was nine. There's two hours of whatever, you know, payable detention or whatever the case may be. Yeah, so yeah. so being able to to communicate in that sense, technology has been the best friend for me personally in my niche. 80% of your relationship are going to be taken care of and you're going to be on, on point, uh, on the front to pick up your phone for this 20% that is remaining. Yes, for other niches, like for example, if you're doing project freight, project freight, more or less, you don't need crazy technology to, to keep it you know as long as it's uh, new and it's and it's in the realms of possibility then technology is great but project freight is a different animal where, where things are a lot slower you know it takes a lot longer to load and unload and all that stuff so. i've been involved in two like a project a couple of projects actually like with some of our clients and what we see is like specifically in the construction uh, uh, industry or in the mining industry or like this big industry like that you know like that uh, are involving a lot of money. Like it's crazy money. If like, the site doesn't operate for one day, remote sites that are not operating for one day, it's so much, so expensive and so much money are involved. So usually price for moving freight is not really an issue, but you better be there on time. It needs to be just in time. I need my parts to uh, uh, maintain my uh, forklift, like my, my like beach tiger, like whatever it is. If I can't move that, then like my project uh, is like I'm missing out on opportunities. I'm not extracting money to extract from from Earth, and I can't sell my stuff. So what we realize is just no, like just real time freight visibility. For example, for those guys, you're talking about technology. I found that real time freight visibility, knowing at the inventory level what is coming my way, what has what has made it on the uh, on the truck, what has not been made on the truck, what can I plan uh, ahead of time because I know what's coming. I think it's, it's a huge game changer. You're right that it's not a matter of saying if it's not here at 8 in the morning, we're screwed. If it's there at 9.30, it's okay. But I need to know. And I need to know where things are at so that I can plan accordingly. I don't want to have my 25 staff waiting for the, the, the truck or the ship or whatever it is that is coming and, and have just like half of the parts that I was expecting and all knowing that just on the spot. But I agree with you that the, the, the value, it's kind of like in different places like you're gonna you're gonna value one aspect of it not another again it all depends on the mode of transportation and the different trailer types like if you're moving produce it's incredibly important to make sure you know uh what temperature the the current shipment that's on that truck is at because you want to have that visibility as much as the driver has it or as a carrier or whatever that's coming that's here now you can see it like it's right there in front of your eyes so you know you can track it if you know oh look in the last 45 minutes it's dropped before below the acceptable values well we got to figure out what the hell's going on because that's a lot of money involved in in that one shipment and it's a lot of people that you have to answer to that you have all the visibility, you have all the technology, well, why didn't you act on it? This is something that I think the freight brokers really need to embrace, these kinds of technologies where it really gives you tools in your shed to be able to, to sell your product better, your solutions, your services better, better, more efficiently.